Hey, how many of you out there are actively thinking, maybe actively trying to make some type of a move? We want to move out, or maybe we're trying to move up. If we're moving out, it's for the purposes of moving up. We want to make more money, right? Uh, we, we, we want to better our life. And I get that. I got some good news for you. I have been in that situation where you're trying to figure out what the next step is. It's intimidating. Um, and we're trying to, to make the best decision. We're not being willy-nilly about this. And, and yet it can be... Uh, it, it can be paralyzing because of that very desire to do it well. And uh, so through this journey, I developed a seven-stage process that helped me. I looked back on it and, and saw what I did. So all that to say, I want to teach that to you. It's absolutely free. We're doing a, a webinar on Tuesday, March 19th at noon Eastern, 11 Central. So that's Tuesday, March 19th, noon Eastern, 11 Central. It's completely free, no strings attached here. I just want to teach you a, a process that will help you get clear so you can be confident and step forward. And, and there are some stages and, and it really helps to know, oh, this is doable and I know how to do it. Boy, that does free us up. Go to kencoleman.com slash webinars to sign up today. That's kencoleman.com slash webinars. Uh, all right. Um, so the team gave me an article to, uh, recently here that I want to comment on because this is about your professional future, you being able to grow and advance so we're making more money. And uh, this data is important, and it shows you a tremendous opportunity. Uh, the, the headline reads, this is a finance article on Yahoo. It reads, these are the top worries for C-suite executives in 2024. And, and again, you may not work for a, a public company, so you're going, well, is this relevant? Yes, it is. And I'm also going to follow this up. I did some research on the most in-demand skills for 2024. This is from LinkedIn, so this is fresh. Okay, so this can be very, very helpful. All right, let's get to it. Uh, here are the top concerns, but there's one that stands out, and this is an advantage and opportunity for you who want to move up. You want to grow professionally. This is a massive opportunity, okay? 38% of executives say they're concerned about digital disruption. 33% are worried about cyber risks. The cost of energy is 25% of leaders. Access to money and financing, because a lot of the big businesses, they are they borrow money for capital, and with interest rates being higher, it's a lot more expensive. That's what that means. Uh, but the number one topic, and i just kind of giving you a quick snapshot, but the number one topic is not all those normal business issues that we hear about every day. The number one concern for top executives is talent. 60% of C-suite executives said that finding, hiring, and then upskilling workers was their top concern. Executives are wondering, all right, we had the big, great resignation where people were just playing musical chairs and we were paying for it. And now that has slowed down and people have kind of settled in. So now they're going, what do we do? That trend is not there. And also, uh, just to give you an idea here, um, the cost of hiring and training new people is way more than upskilling the people you have. So they're looking at this going, this just isn't good business to rely on, uh, to, to, to put our entire talent strategy on outside people, bringing them in. So this is why I'm telling you, this is a wake up call. This is a great opportunity for those of you who want to move up. Leaders across the board are going, it takes time, it takes effort, all of that is costly to go find somebody out there and bring them in here. So the, I think this is going to be a great shift because leaders are going to go, the best move is to look at my current team and say, where's the talent here that can be developed? And that's a much more efficient play. That's why this is a great opportunity. Uh, one of the... Uh, People who ran the study said the takeaway is that leaders are feeling like we need to grow talent and get talent in the right areas. And they're asking, where do I not have the right talent and how do I adjust for that? So if we use a simple analogy, they're essentially going, OK, if I look at my bus, where do I have a seat that is unfilled? Meaning I don't have the right talent in that seat. That's what they're asking. And again, a reminder the cost of attrition, you lose somebody and then going to get new talent is over 2x what it costs just to train employees you already have. 
So in these big companies where they're looking to shave money every which way they can because it matters to the stock price, all of a sudden this becomes a huge opportunity for those of you who are willing. More on that in a minute. I've got some takeaways, some practical takeaways that I'm going to give you today that I believe you can seize on this opportunity and essentially get the competitive edge. That's why I'm sharing this. So I'm going to give you some specifics. Okay. Um, 79% of workers want training in AI, but only 64% think they're receiving the training they need, and 57% say their training was inadequate. So a lot of people are going, I want to add the AI skill to my tool belt. I need that tool, and I think that's smart. What I'm seeing in this article, just to pull it out, I saw it mentioned several times, is this. Digital and technical skills. Technology is what I mean by technical. Digital, like digital skills. If you can, if you can get more technology training, add some digital tools that includes AI, that's your bucket. You can go do more research on this, okay? But there's also soft skills. Now, let me just address this. On the technology side of things, one of the reasons that I've been a longtime partner of Bethel Tech is because of their ability to either through a micro-credential, which is only six weeks, uh, or their big program, nine months, and it's so affordable that the price tag on that is just over 15000 for the big one, but 5000 for a micro-credential, is that you can learn on your own pace and, and sometimes get reimbursed, but even if not reimbursed, it is an investment in you. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But that's why I endorse Bethel Tech, and that's a great example of I can upskill or have my company pay for me to upskill, and I am essentially dictating my own promotion. This is real. This is possible. All right, so um, I went to LinkedIn and did some research, okay, because they're studying this all the time. I would consider them one of the top authorities. And so here are the 2024 most in-demand skills right now. And I'm sharing this because I want you to essentially be able to take an inventory and go, if I was going to rank myself, and this is the fun exercise. As you're listening, if you need to pause and journal here or you need to rewind, here's what I want you to do. I want you to rank yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being suck, 10 being amazing. And just rank yourself. And for those of you who are really serious about growing, Take this list. By the way, you can search this. If you just search the most in-demand skills for 2024 LinkedIn, it's going to pop up. Okay? So you can look at the same thing I'm looking at. If For those of you who really want to grow, take this list to your coworkers and take this list to your leader. See where you're at. Have them rank you. Because there is room for improvement. Okay? Um, all right. Let me go through the list really quick. See, we're right on time. Okay, great. I got a minute and a half. This is super simple. Uh, number one in this list, but it's not the top skill. So we're going to give you one on top that's the top skill. One on the list is communication. I mean, listen, the ever-expanding range of channels and platforms, collaboration is a must. It's no longer an option. Effective communication is going to make you stand out. Two, customer service. The ability to just take care of people. This is now more than ever a huge deal. Leadership is three. You got to be able to lead people. Four is project management. Uh, five is management. In this list, I would consider that leadership. Six is analytics with the just data, data, data everywhere. There's an opportunity always in analytics. Teamwork. Sales is eight. Nine is problem solving. Ten is research. But the number one, the top skill of the moment, by the way, this is not the first year it's been at the top. Uh, my team will remember me talking about this. The number one skill still is a soft skill, and you ready for it? It's adaptability. The ability to accept change and then move on as a result of change. Adaptability. That is a soft skill, and it is wildly popular. And it's a spirit, if you must know. It is an attitude, but it's a spirit of, okay, there's two things that make me adaptable, by the way. Number one, I got to realize this is happening. This isn't. This ain't an option, and I got to accept it whether I want to accept it or not. So now we go, okay, so what does that mean? What must I do to not just accept it, but then move through it and beyond it and adapt to it? That is adaptability. So there you go. 
uh, listen, here's the deal. You got to go to your company on specific skills and say, if I raise my hand, will you pay for these? If they won't, invest in them yourself.